Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Liz. How is everybody doing today? I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having an awesome day. I'm just a little bit tired doing some laundry as you can see. But today's video, I'm going to be doing a laundry chat. It's called the laundry chat. This was started by Denise Jordan over at This and That with Denise Jordan. And Denise is the one that started this laundry chat. We are a part of the sister circle here on YouTube. And it's just a group of us ladies who wants to learn how to grow your channel, learn different strategies on how to do that, the do's and don'ts and whatnot like that. So go ahead and check out Denise Jordan and I will have her channel down in my description box. So go and take a look at her videos. But um, what we're supposed to do is to talk about something. And I have a topic that, that I'm gonna be sharing with you today, pertaining health. Now I must say this is a challenge because I'm not used to talking <laughs> in front of a camera and folding up clothes at the same time because you know you have to concentrate on both you got to concentrate on what you need to talk about and folding these things up here so i'm gonna go ahead and do my best so let's my topic is basically on the health and what i mean by health i'm going to talk to you guys pertaining losing weight making sure you take care of your body which is very important. Some of you may or may not know that I had a little health scare where I had to go to the emergency room, I have to say about a month ago. And um, what happened was my blood pressure went up very, very high. It was too high for me. Um, and it has been up, it was going up for like maybe a week or two, I'm not sure, maybe even longer. But um, I wasn't feeling well. And this one particular Saturday, uh, it was up and I had headaches, these real bad headaches, not migraines, they weren't migraines. Um, I've never had one, but I've heard how they are and this does not, it does not fit the description of my headache. But anyway, um, so I was trying to take care of myself at home. Just trying to sit, lay in the bed and relax. And I thought about taking um, a, another blood pressure pill because I do have hypertension and I take blood pressure medicine every day. So I thought about taking another one and then I decided, well, let me call the nurse line, the 24 hour nurse line and just ask them what they think, which I probably shouldn't have done because I know what they're going to say. They're, they're not going to encourage that. I should have known that. So it was really up to me to decide if I'm going to do that or not. So I went ahead and called and talked to the lady, the nurse, for a very long time. And then she assessed me and then she just encouraged me to go on to the emergency room because you know when you have high blood pressure and it's really high you know that can be dangerous life-threatening it really can we are not to play with our blood pressure you know with our health uh, if you have hypertension it's just good to reduce if not cut out all the salt I mean just leave a little bit of salt the body does need some salt very little but a healthy salt for instance um, the kind of salt that we use now at home here I don't really put too much of it in my food I try to use the more natural type products but every now and then I will you know give a couple of sprinkles in my food and that's the Himalayan salt Himalayan and that's supposed to be a very healthy salt where it doesn't raise your blood pressure so that's, you know, what I use, and I like to use a lot of different herbs and whatnot. But anyway, getting back to the hospital, um, they had given me some medication to try to bring it down. And I tell you, this was scary, because when they gave me one particular medicine, 
I don't know, my body just rejected it and it made me feel worse and it actually made the blood pressure go up higher. And my mother was with me, she was sitting right beside me because I was laying in the bed and the nurse was standing right above me. I mean, the nurse was standing right beside her. And my mother says, why is it going up higher? You know, it's not supposed to go up higher, it's supposed to go down. It was really concerning and I tell you, you guys, the ordeal, being in that hospital and what I experienced, it was almost like I had an awakening. <laughs> you know, that was like a shocker to me to experience all that. It made, that medicine made me feel worse than when I was in there. It was just a side effect of it, but it was a terrible one. And not to get too graphic, but I actually, bad thoughts will come to my mind like, you're gonna die. And I, I kid you not, I had to fight those thoughts. I had to fight them off because I did not believe that and I did not accept that. But you know, bad thoughts come to us all the time, you know, when we're going through things. So uh, they gave me another medicine. She was about to hand it to me and I didn't want to take it at first. And I said, mm, I don't know because I'm afraid to experience what I just experienced. You know, it gave me a really bad side effect and I looked high as, <laughs> high as I don't know what, like somebody on drugs. <laughs> I guess it was to calm me down, you know, so that the pressure can come down, I guess. But, ooh, it was a horrible feeling, just a horrible, horrible feeling. I don't wanna ever have that medication in my system ever again and I will always remember the name of that medicine. I'll tell someone, please do not give me that. I don't like the side effect of it. And so they gave me this other one and I was holding it in my hand and I was like, oh boy, I don't know. And then the nurse said, well, you know, this will really, really bring your pressure down. My mother is aware of the medication. She knew about that particular one and she told me, yeah, Liz, go ahead and take it. You'll be okay. This really will bring your pressure down. So I said, oh boy, <laughs> okay. I said, all right, I'm, I'm going to do it. But of course me, I had to, you know, I, I believe in prayer. I started praying. I mean, I had that pill in my hand with my head bowed and I didn't care who was around me and I started to pray because, you know, I was a little nervous and I just didn't know if I <laughs> should take it or not. I'm thinking, okay, Lord, I'm going to trust you. I'm going to trust you that everything is going to be all right when I take this pill. And I indeed trusted him and everything was just fine. Thank God it was. But I tell you, uh, guys, if you have hypertension or if you're at risk of getting hypertension, I'm just here to encourage each and every one of you as well as myself to take better care of your health. Um, exercise, implement exercise, daily exercise, at least five days a week. Do some type of cardiovascular exercise. Decrease your salt intake. And that doesn't necessarily mean table salt. That's part of it, but the other part that I'm talking about is processed foods, like your cold cuts, um, things, certain things in a can, canned good foods, some of them. Um, let's see, what else? Of course, the junk food, chips and whatnot, a lot of salted processed foods. All of that can eventually lead to hypertension. And if you have it in your family, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get hypertension. I never had it. Yes, it's in my family, on my mother's side, but I tell you, when I got pregnant with my son, I didn't have it. After I delivered my son, I developed it. And I do believe the reason why is because I started, I was gaining more weight. I was happy, freshly married, and just had my second child, and I was just like on cloud nine, stuffing my face, just eating, you know? So I was having a good old time, but not realizing the damage that I was doing in my body. I didn't realize it. But I tell you, this particular time, 
it, it, it's weird because it seems like most of us have to go through something in order to start taking better care of yourself. You know, so I am and I have started taking better care of myself ever since I left that hospital. That scared me, you guys. That, I kid you not, some people will probably say, well, what's the big deal? You know, high blood pressure, they get it down, no big deal. Well, if you go through it and experience it the way I did, it just, something inside me just said, you've got to, you've got to take better care of yourself. You have got to stop doing what you're doing because what you're doing is not working and it's not helping you. So with that, I am increasing my exercise, you know, trying to be more consistent with it at least. Um, even times when I don't feel like it, you know, there's times where I'm just like, ah, I feel lazy, just don't feel like doing it. Also, I have really, really decreased my salt intake. That includes processed foods, because I don't eat any processed foods. Um, if I chose to eat something like that on a one-time basis, believe it or not, it's gonna be low sodium. So that's another option, low sodium foods. But um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to encourage you guys and I hope that this video will encourage someone out there. Hopefully it will help someone out there. Because um, I, I wasn't gonna talk about this because I'm kind of like a private person. I like to keep everything, certain things like this on a down low, you know, just personal to myself. But I decided, let me go ahead and just talk about it just a little bit, just to encourage you guys, uh, whoever may be dealing with hypertension, or if you're at risk, or if you just don't know anything about it. Um, I don't know a whole lot about it, but I do know enough to make the necessary changes in my diet and in my life. Also, reducing stress is a good thing and that's kind of hard I know I'm not gonna say I don't deal with stress yes I do but it has to be managed and I think we all deal with stress at some sort time or another you know but we just have to learn how to manage it you know the types of things that I do to decrease this the stress level is to simply Number one, one way to do it is to do an intense workout. If you do that, I tell you, that will really relieve tension because I get a lot of tension in my shoulders and my neck and you just have to learn how to relax. And my mother tells me that all the time, you gotta learn how to relax. You gotta learn how to relax. And I have to really, and I need to listen to her more and start practicing those things. Deep breathing exercises. You know, in through your nose as deep as you can and then slowly exhale out of your mouth and allow your body to just relax. So that's one thing that I do. And you know, you may want to take a yoga class or just go for a walk. But I'm trying. I'm not gonna say I'm perfect at it, but hey, I'm doing what I need to do, and I do feel a lot better. The headaches are gone. If occasionally I will feel a little twinge of a headache coming on, and that's probably, you know, I've gone through something stressful, and I said, okay, I recognize the sign. Okay, let me try to calm down. Let me try to relax, and or put something cold on my head, and that usually takes care of it. Also guys, I have lost some weight. I don't know if you can tell, but I sure can. The last time I went to the doctor, that was some weeks back, maybe three weeks back, uh, they did tell me I lost seven pounds, but since then I know I've lost more. So I'm just guessing maybe close to 20, if not that, I'm not sure. But I will get my weight checked next month in May. So I'm excited about my weight loss journeys. Also, you guys, one last thing to, if you don't have a blood pressure cuff, you should invest in getting one. 
I have one and I don't like to check it. I, can, I don't really like to be in tune too much to the numbers, but it's, it's important to at least check it, at least, you know, I don't really know what they recommend, but I would say at least a couple of times a week, maybe more, at least. So that's just what I'm saying. I'm not a nurse, I'm not a doctor. I do not claim to know all the answers to losing weight or hypertension. And I'm not telling anybody to do what I have done and what I'm doing. I'm encouraging you all to live a better life, to eat healthier, lots of fruits and vegetables, exercise. So I'm just simply encouraging you guys. I have finished my laundry. So anywho, I thank you guys so much for watching. And oh yeah, I have to tag a couple of people. Okay, the two people that I have in mind, and ladies, I hope that you have not been tagged. And if you have, then you're tagged again. Simply Tashi, you're tagged. And Lady Phoenix from Really Good Living, you're tagged. And I wanna thank Cindy so much for tagging me. She did tag me to do this. And I thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have an awesome day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.